Hello from EK Expo. My name is Deb. I'm a sim racer and YouTube creator of Andy the Lab. Make sure to check out EK's latest and upcoming products and my review of Fluid Gaming's 275 Vanquish. <sighs> you know, I'm laughing because normally, normally I'm dressed like this for eight hours, freezing my buns off, trying to film a vehicle this time of year. You know what's so great about film and tech? I don't have to wear any of this. <sighs> Much better. So what did you think about that intro? This right here is the 275 Vanquish by Fluid Gaming, which is EK Waterblock's pre-built division. So about a week ago, I got a call from EK saying that they were gonna drop ship me something that was gonna be able to run my sim rig at max settings. And when it arrived, everyone was so excited. In fact, Abby even beat me to the box. Fortunately, it was just the corner of the box and Abby was just fine. <laughs> As I said before, this right here is the 275 Vanquish. Now, if you follow me, you know that I'm a huge supporter of PC DIY. In fact, my last few tech videos have all been PC builds. But I'm gonna explain in this episode why pre-builds like this have a place and specifically why this model by Fluid Gaming is honestly just unbelievable. So let's get to it. If this case looks familiar, this is the case of 2020, the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic. And if you follow tech YouTube, I'm sure you've seen this case one way or another. But I'm not one of those big tech tubers, so I haven't even been able to get my hands on anything Lee and Lee, or get in touch with them for that matter. <coughs> Now, I'm not really going to get into reviewing this case because there's already a thousand videos out there. But my first time seeing this, I can totally see why this case is so popular to build in. So let's take a look at what Fluid Gaming put in here. For starters, the CPU is AMD's Ryzen Zen 3 architecture, the 5900X which is kind of the best CPU for gaming right now. And as you can see in this Vanquish, it's water blocked. But keep in mind, everything in here is custom to Fluid Gaming, so you can't buy things separately in the EK store with the exception of this distro plate, which we'll get to in a bit. The CPU is socketed to the Asus Prime X570 Pro motherboard. It's really nice to see that they picked a good quality board from a good company. Now, before you accuse me of being a shill for Asus, I will say my husband and I have been using their products for well over a decade, far longer than the time I've worked with them. And we've had nothing but good experiences over the years. Next up in this 275 Vanquish is the RAM. EK decided to go with 32 gigabytes spread across four DIMMs of G-Skills Trident Z RGB RAM. I'm really glad they went with four DIMMs because not only does it look good, but it's also running at 3200 megahertz at C16. So not only is the performance good, but it's running at low latency. And not only did they pick good RAM, but let's talk about the unicorn, the much coveted RTX 3090. Now, when I first took a look at it, it threw me for a loop because when I think back to the 3080 that I built or other 3090s I've seen, I was expecting to see three 8-pin PCIe connections. This has two. Now, I don't know if there are reference cards that use dual 8-pin connectors, but I do recall that the Tough Gaming 3090 and some EVGA 3090s use two 8-pin connectors. Either way, this is a 3090 and it's beautifully water blocked. And speaking of EVGA, this right here is the Supernova 80 Plus Gold Rated 1000 Watt G5 Power Supply. If you haven't picked up on the theme yet, Fluid Gaming has really picked out some quality components from some good manufacturers. Now this wouldn't be an EK product if it didn't incorporate some good water cooling. In this 275 Vanquish, you have one 360 millimeter radiator up top, a 240 millimeter radiator on the side with a total of seven EK Vardar Evo DRGB fans. 
here and there are the intake. Up top is the exhaust, exactly how I'd build it. Now, let's take a look at this distro plate. This is actually my first time seeing a distro plate, the 011 D Classic. It really makes hardline custom tubing so much easier. Everything is essentially a straight line. There's only one 90 degree custom bend up here, which technically they could use the fitting for. And overall, it just looks so clean. Speaking of clean, the cables you see on this side are using black sleeved cable extensions. And honestly, the cable management back here is phenomenal, which is not always the case when you buy a pre-built. A lot of times it looks nice from this side and then you go to the back and it's like they just shoved everything in there. Well, not in this build. Now that I've given you a once over of the 275 Vanquish, let's see how it does for sim racing. If you watched my sim rig video, you'll know that I'm running Next Level Racing's Motion V3 and Traction Plus, and I'm using Fanatec's DD2 wheelbase and finally the Elgato Stream Deck XL. And for my displays, my main display is the ASUS PG65UQ that's running full 4K at 144Hz. And my side display is the ASUS XG49VQ, running at 3840 by 1080, also at 144 hertz. And after some extensive testing, here are the results. Well, that was absolutely insane. I topped out at 138 frames per second. Now keep in mind that was 4K gaming, plus including all the software to run my full motion sim rig. So needless to say, this machine is a beast. Now, some things I personally liked about this Vanquish. You can control all the RGB from ASUS's Armory Crate, making everything synchronous. Where in most builds, you're using two pieces of software to get everything consistently synced. The warranty is a full three years. That includes parts, labor, support, and return delivery to your door. This also includes a dedicated support line to answer any questions. And I also know that they'll ship replacement parts direct for minor solutions. And unrelated to the performance, the packaging was so protective. They use super thick foam and this Instapack to keep the GPU and the tubing in place. Thankfully, Abby didn't get to this. So here's the reality. This 275 Vanquish costs $4,999.99. That actually costs less than when I tried to build a nearly identical system on PC Parts Picker. Plus, that doesn't include the warranty. Now, if I were to compare very similar builds, let's say on Exotic PC and Main Gear, both which use the O11 Dynamic, Exotic PC's GX11 Widow came to $5,533, and Main Gear's Rush was $7,874. Now let's look at Digital Storm. They don't build in an O11 Dynamic case, but if I were to build with similar parts in a mid-tower case, it would cost about $6,138. Now the craziest was looking at Origin and iBuyPower. Neither offered liquid cooling the GPU. iBuyPower was really close in price, about $5,000, and Origin came in ridiculously high at $5,621, and again, no water-cooled GPU. On top of that, I spoke to the folks at EK and these are available and ready to ship today. Whereas the other companies, you'll see some crucial parts like the 5900X on back order. And if this is priced too high, they do have different models for different budgets and performance. Plus they have the Conquest line, which uses AMD graphics cards. The Vanquish uses Nvidia. If you're a sim racing or esports team and need like 10 or 20 of these, this is such a great plug and play option for maximum performance. Or if you don't have time to build, or even if you do have the time, right now, like I said before, you can't even get these parts for this price point. And good luck finding those parts because this may be the only way you could get your hands on a 5900X and an RTX 3090. And between the top of the line warranty and support, this to me is a no-brainer. And if you're watching this during CES 2021, make sure to check out the other videos at EK Expo. And if you're watching this from my YouTube channel, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow me live on Twitch to see this rig in action. We'll see you next time with another lab-tested review. Bye.